here comes my little dude. Okay, out of the way, SpongeBob would see us. <laughs> I gotta use this chance then, right? Unfortunately, he's definitely behind. So I'm just gonna go for it. Come on, Gary. There he is. Gary, I got you, I got you! I don't know where Patrick is. Can we like see him maybe? <laughs> what the frick? Dude, press the press. The so what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome back to another episode of Around the Clock at Bikini Bottom. Right now, guys, this one is about to be the final part, and we're gonna escape with SpongeBob's, uh, you know, whatever the freak he's going for. Now, if you guys haven't seen the previous two videos on this game, uh, definitely go back and check it out because this game is amazing. In the last episode of this game, we played as Squidward, and we had to actually go into his house because this dude wanted to take his prize possessions with him. Listen, guys, long story short, Bikini Bottom has absolutely gone crazy, okay? And we gotta go ahead and get the goods and get the freak back out of here. Okay, guys, we are straight back into this anyway. Now, I'm thinking that the SpongeBob level may, in fact, be the last level of this game. Dave Microwave Games did say that there was only three levels within this demo and we've beat both the glove world and also the Patrick one so the Spongebob one makes sense to be the last. Either way though it is time we head into Spongebob's pineapple. It's 10 p.m. at night guys okay we gotta get this done. After Squidward saves Spongebob and Patrick from the clutches of the cloned glove world staff Squidward throws his boatmobile to their homes. When questioned Squidward insists that the two head into their homes and grab whatever valuables they can find without pressing on any further. The three splits off into their homes. Spongebob's on a mission to locate and escort Gary to safety but even our plucky protagonist can have the misfortune to run into an unwelcome set of spiteful foes. SpongeBob had better hope he isn't clumsy this time around, as you know, we're about to get snapped up. Okay, guys, we begin when Squid was driving us home. Dude, why the freak you gotta do that still, you know? Ha. All right, you dunderheads. Remember what I told you. Grab any valuables you can and meet back here. In the worst case scenario, just drop whatever you're carrying and hoof it back to the boatmobile. Yeah, you wasn't saying that when you was grabbing your expensive goods, were you? Even my pet Rocky? Even my toys? Yes, Patrick. Even the stupid rock and the toys. Well, I'm not leaving Gary behind again. And that poor snail turned into a potted monstrosity last time. Well, in that case, I'm going to secure my art piece and clarinet. If either of you could help me ca carry then that would be a big... Uh, guys, please help, help me, guys. That's... Sad moment inbound, here we go. Well, as we've learned already, Squidward did not get the help. However, guys, that was the least of everyone's concerns. Whilst Patrick and Squidward were off getting their stuff done, this dude went ahead and found that big old pencil. And with that, you can tell he went ahead and drew Doodle Bob, Doodle Patrick, straight in the home of SpongeBob. Then he just wanders off and goes ahead and does his thing. What a douchebag! Okay, and as you can see, Doodle Bob went ahead and woke up, of course he did. And that leaves all of this mess now to Spongebob. And he's gonna take care of it. So let's get this started then. Gary Bear, Gary. Hmm, I think I know what'll get him to come out. So we figured out in the last episode that you've gotta find his food. Open this. I just need to find his favorite bag of snail food from the kitchen and pour it into his dish. He should come running in no time. Okay, so I don't know what exactly this is. He talks about a bag of food, so I don't know, dude. The fr what is that? Huh? I swear I left it somewhere around here. Yeah, you go ahead and do some kicking, dude. I'm getting straight in here. Let's close that. Popping clams! If that's one of those jellies, I have nowhere to run in here! You really don't, my dude. So, we never got any further than this, and you can already hear them doodling away in the background. Okay, how the heck are we gonna figure this? <laughs> That's Patrick right now, what the heck? So I never really thought about this, but from the kitchen in SpongeBob's residence, this dude's got his crapper. Like, that's a pretty bad placement, right? Listen, dude, you turned with the door open, honestly, your food's gonna smell like crap more so. All right, let's stop talking about weird stuff, okay? Most important objective, finding Gary. Getting the freak out of this mess. Look at him, carrying around that pencil like some sort of sword. So, maybe he's patrolling? So he goes through. What? Dude, who closes the door and then walks through it? All right, so let's walk back through here. And this door too. All right, so how do we get around this mess? Dude, I'm gonna be found, so hide behind the TV, maybe? <laughs> Sounds like Patrick right there, you know? So wait this one out. You can't even afford to peek in this one. Wait, the heck? Is SpongeBob coming back? Sounds like he might be. See if maybe hiding just here I can help us out. Bro, is he coming or not? The freak is Doodle Bob like did he rip himself? Hold up. Crouch. Take it easy. The freak, dude, that's creeping me out. So that's that door opening there. You can hide here. Let him do his thing. Right, let's go quickly now. So open this door here. I don't really get help. What the freak is that? Dude, what the heck is going on? Holy crap! <laughs> freak, we're in like a gym or something? I can hear Patrick laughing as well. Oh my god, he getting the teddy curls right now? Oh my god. Patrick sounds like he's very close. How do we see him though? Let's take a peek through here. I can hear something. Gotta be careful. Let's try opening this now. I don't know where Patrick is. Can we like see him maybe? What the freak? Dude, close the close the. <laughs> He was upset! Okay, so, let me try and go into here straight away this time. I'll be aggressive, Doodle Bob will rush to the aid of injured friends, so how can I injure them? All right, so Doodle Bob is going that way there. Okay, let him do that. And the other guy always sees you, I think. So hop over him. All right, here we go. I don't know where Patrick is or how we can see him. Okay, maybe if we go up the stairs, we can see him, like, at the top. All right, close that door. Get used to doing that behind us. So let's see. He's right there. Bro, what the freak am I gonna jump over the side? <laughs> He's racing me mid-air! Okay. Dude, if I stand on them, yeah. it gives them a chance, right? So close the door. 
Maybe I can get away. Perfect. Patrick isn't there this time either. Okay, so we're actually upstairs. We can investigate somewhat. Ah! That's where Patrick was. All right, guys, here's the plan then. So let this guy come in. Nice and close. And then we're going to trample on him. Now we'll close the door behind ourselves. Run through and close these doors too. That one's gone. And okay, he'll never be here then, I don't think. He's not there this time. <laughs> what does that mean? How close is he, right? Like, I don't think he's ever in the hallway, so... Once we're up here, we're good. I don't know if uh, Doodle Bob actually comes this way. Oh, oh. Dude, what the? This is so difficult. I gotta really keep looking up, dude. All right, so <laughs> look up as you walk. All right, there was some laughter there. I don't see anything above, so maybe we're okay. Guess we're gonna move on through. So he's not in here. The freak! Look at this library scene. The one room as well where you got all the books. You have a fire. SpongeBob, come on right now. That's not smart. What are we looking for though? I can't really figure this out. Nothing in here. There's got to be a meaning for this room, though, why we can access it, right? Or, or maybe not. Yeah, Patrick, why don't you why don't you hide above that, you know? That'll do you some good, you know? I can't see anything above me here. I'm trying to be as careful as I can. I am laughing. Let's take a look. So that's where he can be. You can see the scribble outline. Don't appear. Okay, I heard him laugh. I should probably try and, like, locate him. Let's see. No idea, dude. Yeah. The Wait. Oh, Alright, guys, we're going to check out this one room here that we haven't. Uh, I don't see any outline for where Patrick could appear. So. But, dude, I'm so dead. This is so difficult. Wait, bro, I'm dead. Patrick's right. <laughs> dude, you know what? Patrick, get me first. How long does Patrick wait there for? He's gone. Now I go. Now I go. Now I go. Okay. This is like another hideout room then. So close this. Let me see. I guess I can figure out SpongeBob's patrol when he comes upstairs with this. There he is. There he is. Look at him. <gasps> Holding the pencil. He goes into the bedroom. Does he go elsewhere? That's important to figure out. Let's see. So he does, he goes all the way around the freaking house! And he goes downstairs, look at that dude. My god. Here we go. <laughs> all this laughter. All this freaking laughter, dude. So is he there? Can't tell. He might be in that room, I think, perhaps. In this door here. Okay, just an outline. So we're looking- Right there, snail food. Hold on. Take this. Okay, bring the food to Gary's bowl and fill it up. I'm worried to wait underneath this in case he spawns in. Here's what we'll do, man. We'll wait here. He's coming upstairs, you see that? So he goes in the bedroom. <laughs> He's not there, but he might be, I guess, down that end of the corridor. Dude, Bob, don't come in here, my dude. Don't need the toilet. Yes! Wait for him to walk a bit more. This door. All right, let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on. Come on. All right, here we go, dude. I can't run with it. Are you kidding? <laughs> dude, it's right down there. I gotta go in here then, in that case. No, 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 inside, inside. Close it. Holy crap. So he's going downstairs. I gotta wait for SpongeBob to go that way then, and then I can go downstairs. Just Look at that dude, smug Patrick. I'm about to erase that face and put a big frown on it right now. Wait for him to disappear. And when SpongeBob walks past, or more specifically goes down the corridor, then <laughs> we take our chance. Right, Doodle Patrick has moved, and we're waiting for Doodle Bob. Come on, hurry up right now. I really don't got all day. Here he goes. Come on, get the freak out of here, you ugly looking son of a. <laughs> what? He's right. Dude. Patrick, don't look at me like that. Get the heck out of here. Come on. I gotta wait for him to go. Come on. Disappear. Please. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me right now? Wait. Run my time run out. Um, so what, what happens now then? That the time's run out. Because, you know, Gary's uh, Gary's not interested now. I had five minutes to do this, right? Oh man. I'll let him get past. Let him go in the room. You know what? I'm just gonna go downstairs right now, dude. Gary, please. I tried, my brother. I'm gonna still do the food, guys. I don't know what to expect right now. This could be horrific. <laughs> Here he comes. Here he comes. And I don't think Patrick has any way of spawning inside the kitchen. He's gone now. Let's take a look. All right, we're good. Now, when I say we're good, man, I think Gary's gone. I'm going to just keep pouring the food. Bro, you're missing the bowl. I guess Gary doesn't mind that much, so pour the food in. Just don't stop pouring. See what happens then. So the food's in the bowl. Gary. Gary, is that you? Barnacles, my poor Gary bed. Scared of these doodles. I need to find him fast. Where the freak could he be? Just to find Gary. So wait, but the time limit ran out. So what did that actually impede? I don't get it. Listen, I would love to find him quickly, but... This dude following a patrol pattern, I got away. I have to be patient. Come on, hurry up. All right, get running. So we've got to find Gary. Where the heck could he be? He could be anywhere. Checking this closet here. Okay, he's definitely not there, dude. We've got to be careful. We've got to be so careful right now. All right, here he goes. Here he goes. Got to make this concise. All right, my dude is well running along. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and squish him. Let's do that. Okay. Dude, no, 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 no. That's right there. Okay, inside here. Okay, he's not above here. So we have to find Gary. I was really hoping he was just simply going to be in the gym, but he's not. Doodle Patrick cannot spawn in here too, thankfully. Okay, so we've just got to get upstairs. He's definitely upstairs somewhere. Okay, now he's at the top of the stairs. That's a really bad spawning spot, dude. I was just about to move. SpongeBob's going to move, I think, soon. So yeah, I'm waiting for that door to open. There you go. I guess he's going to keep moving through. All right, let's do this, dude. This is probably about as good as time as we got. Open this. Okay, please don't be at the top of the stairs, man. Please. Okay, he's not. 
Now we can wait in this closet at least. This is how we're going to do it, guys. Slow and steady wins the race in this occasion. He's going through that way. Wait, is he following a different patrol pan this time? He didn't go in the bedroom. That's kind of interesting and also a little bit concerning. Don't be above there. I can't see at all. Check in there. I don't think he can spawn in this room either, so I'll close the door. Come on, Gary. Oh, he's not in here, dude. Come on. Tread lightly, tread lightly. <laughs> Sounds like he's maybe behind. He's not in here. Close this. There's one more room I can check after this for Gary, and it's like the library one, so please let it be. Right, here comes my little dude. Okay, out of the way. SpongeBob would see us. <laughs> I gotta use this chance then, right? Unfortunately. Hold up. He patrols then, so we don't always have to squash him. Okay. He's gone that way. Don't spawn in. Please don't spawn in. Okay. I don't see him above that. I it's like a blind spot, dude. Okay. He's definitely behind, so I'm just gonna go for it. Come on, Gary. There he is. Gary, I got you, I got you! We don't have- we gotta get out of here. I don't- I'm, What? Are you actually kidding me? Are you actually- if there's no checkpoints, that took me 20 minutes, guys. I don't understand. What? No! God, please! Are you- <laughs> He's spo Dude, he spawned four times in the same spot. I can't- Bro, I ain't got time to wait. I gotta risk it. This is getting ridiculous right now, dude. Okay, he's not in here, so I'm gonna close this door. Stand back. Spongebob <laughs> never comes in here. He's at the blind spot over there then. At least we can hear that. Oh, man. All I gotta do is find Gary and I'm out of this crap hole, okay? And there goes Doodlebob. Okay. I'm gonna go for it. I heard Patrick, like, laugh downstairs. So now's the time. Is he here? I've actually got Gary, dude. I can't believe it. Listen. Wait. Bro. You've gotta be kidding me. You've gotta be kidding me. Hold up. In here. In here. Close it. Close it. Wait. What? What the? What the? So now the game bugs out? Hey, you've got to be kidding me. So what am I supposed to do? He's... You've got to be kidding me, dude. I've been trying for literally 80 minutes, and then this happens on the one run when things finally come together. Uh... Bruh. Hold up. Like I was saying, this happens on the one run where things come together. Uh... My dude! I don't care if this is a glitch. This was insane. Right, don't die. Don't die. Okay, Doodle Patrick is not there. Listen, I guess that was a bad scribble. Let's go. What the freak is going on? Um, now I will take that right there. What the freak, dude? Let's go. Thank goodness for that game changing bug, literally. Oh, man. <laughs> what? That's Doodle Patrick, Doodle Bob. So they made it back out of the house. They're still roaming the place, huh? Push posh, the imbeciles escaped your grasp. No surprise from that pitiful skirmish, I'd say. Now, I beseech thee, my paper-thin, porous companion. <sighs> okay, I gotta wait, I'm about to pass out. Now that we have returned, perhaps a second incursion would be in order. Shall we inquire on how to deal with them first, bud? <laughs> He's in on the idea. The freak, jellyfish, what is that? What is that, good point? Wait, what's he gonna do? Oh! Dude, what a savage, right? Hey guys, what in the almighty name of Neptune was that horrid abomination? Yeah. Indeed, it's not like the wildlife here in the doodle dimension. Ma, it's disgusting secretions mark the pence. Wait a second, what if... A new breed of doodle... Oh my goodness me. Dude, uh, we're done. We're done. My sweet Mary Sue, I can't fathom this brilliance of mine. This liquid provides a protective seal on this jelly and making it immune to the eraser. God. Yes, my acquaintance, I believe we've cracked the threshold restraining our potential. That freak? What is that mess? Oh, the other thing. Oh, marvelous. Simply marvelous. Bah. Quite so. It seems those three have a knack for finding these jellions. Off he goes. He's got a plan. Come now, brethren. Preparation for repopulation shall commence. What the freak? So the doodle characters, they're only gonna get worse and worse, and after that level? Am I ready for that? Level complete, final score. Like B, as far as I'm concerned, it's an A with about 28 stars behind it. That was difficult, dude. So that's all the levels done. Now it says safe, we can't go to it, but that must be it, you know? We're all done here. You know, let me save that real quick. Oh my goodness me, guys. That level took so long. I mean, even though it did glitch out at the end, we pretty much got exactly what we was about to do, and I feel like once I hid in the way I did, it should have let me escape his grasps anyway. But yeah, guys, for now, that was the demo of Around the Clock at Bikini Bottom. Technically, we got the ending, and it kind of leaves us on a cliffhanger in terms of what's going to happen next. We can assume, though, that things are only going to get more difficult, and you know what? I'm not looking forward to it, but at the same time, I agree. Yeah. If you guys did enjoy this video, though, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy, and I will, of course, see you on the next one.